Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lei. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform deconvolution analysis. This tutorial is probably the easiest one so far, as it involves no programming skills or any Linux command lines. The analysis can be done using a web page based tool, CyberSortX. So what is deconvolution analysis? It's analysis that estimates the cell type composition in a bulk RNA-seq dataset, which average gene expression across all cell types. The algorithm requires a reference signature matrix to estimate the proportion of cell types in your bulk tissue. So why do we need deconvolution analysis? We need it to identify cell types driving specific gene expression patterns, to study tissue heterogeneity, or to link cell proportions to clinical outcomes. The algorithm assumes that the bulk gene expression is a weighted sum of individual expression profiles from cell types. The algorithm estimates the cell type proportions by solving this equation. So deconvolution analysis is applied to many medical fields, like tumor microenvironment studies, disease mechanism studies, drug response studies, studies, and a single cell data validation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to estimate immune cell infiltration in tumor samples, as well as to estimate cell type proportions using single cell reference signatures. So now let's go to the web page to create a free account, which provides you with one gigabyte of storage, which is in more than enough for regular use. Once you're logged in, go to the menu button at the top of the page to show all the options we have. And we're, go we're gonna use all the options to switch between the pages. So if you're lost, just go to the menu button and click on the buttons to go to the page that you, you wanna go to. Now let's click on upload files to go to the next page. As in our all other tutorials, our first step is to prepare the data. In this case, there is actually not much to prepare. We only need a, a raw count table. You already have it, hopefully, in this format. The first column is the gene symbol, and all other columns are samples. Numbers are the counts. So once you have it, upload to the web page. Make sure you give it to a proper name, and make sure you select the correct file type is a mixture. It's very important. If you select the wrong one, you won't be able to run the analysis. So once uploading is done, go click on the run X in the manual, go to this page, and click on the second step, impute cell fractions, and click on custom. There are two required fields, a signature matrix file and the mixture file. The mixture file is the RNC data we just uploaded. The website had the built-in signature matrix file for immune cells called LM22, which contains 22 immune cell types. And select this one for our immune cell infiltration analysis. And again, select our dataset as a mix mixture file and hit run at the bottom of the page. In a couple of few minutes, the web page will directly bring you to a new result page, which shows the result of the deconvolution analysis. If not, just go to the menu and click on job results, which will lead you to the same page. The proportion of cells are stored in a table in this format. The numbers are the proportion of the cell type in a specific sample. The table can be uh, downloaded in various formats. For a customized cell type analysis, we need our own um, signature matrix. In this case, we assume that you, have, you already have a reference single cell sequencing data in this format. The first column is the gene symbol, and all other columns are the individual cells and these are all annotated. 
So upload this um, data set on the uploading web page. Make sure you give it a proper name and select the right file type. This time it's single cell reference. Make sure you select the right one. And then we click on the run Cybersort X tab in the menu button. And we click on the first tab, create signature matrix. And click on custom, click on the select input data file, single cell sick. And there are two required fields. The first one is uh, the single cell data set we just uploaded. The name one is just the name. Just give it a proper name. And click on run and it will generate a single cell um, expression signature. And the heat map show the signature genes in our data set. And once we have the single cell, the reference single cell signature, we can select in the sign signature matrix file in the run cybersort X page. And the mixture file is still our own bulk RNC data set. And after a couple, couple minutes, the web page will directly bring you to the, the result page. And the results are stored in the same format and can be downloaded in various format. And that's all we have to perform deconvolution analysis. Very simple and straightforward. The key is to prepare the count table and the reference table and make sure you select the right file type using the right file name. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to perform alternative splicing analysis. And you can also go to, go to my website to look at the details of all other tutorials.